Wait, let me nice. hit you guys with it again. Let me hit you guys with it again. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, with, that being, with that being said, we're going to jump into Don's Dimes. It's the part of the show where we don't discuss in pre-production. I come up with a fireside topic, and the guys just have to spit it out. With it being Super Bowl week, and it's a Super Bowl edition, I'm super excited about what most people are super excited about when it comes to the show. You're going to think commercials. <laughs> no. It's the halftime show. Come on now. We, we love the halftime show. My dream performer has always been Usher. A uh, fun fact for the viewers and listeners out there. Growing up, I was a huge Usher fan. Still, I am. And my brother nicknamed me Slusher uh, because I wasn't as refined as Usher. And I was a little cold. So he called me Slusher, and it stuck. And um, uh, to this day, I'm a huge fan of him. And so my question for you guys, if you could have any halftime performer, who would it be? Because I don't actually know Rudy's musical taste. So as, as, a, as a part of the show, I'm going to be very interested to hear who he's going with. I'm going to start. If I could have a, a dream performer, and they've already had Usher this weekend, and I hope he kills it, I would have a dream, smooth R&B halftime show. I'm talking Jodeci. KC and JoJo. I'm talking Drew Hill. I'm talking Toto. 702. Summer Walker. Bell Biv DeVoe. Nax. Neo. High Five. Nick, I know you like high five. Hi, high five. five. I'm talking. What are you like five when they hit her out? <laughs> you know, I have a very sophisticated musical palette, Rudy. And I, I would I would I would put together about a 30, 40 minute show of just the R and B hits. Because most NFL fans would actually appreciate these records. They're baby boomer generation, millennial generation, Rudy's generation. We're not gonna age him. But these are artists that people would love and i think you know the young tiktokers of the world would appreciate them so i would go if i was the curator for a halftime performance for the super bowl it would be a classic r&b medley of the hits 80s and 90s a few 2000s but yeah we would be rocking in there that's just me wow so much to unpack there rudy you going first Okay, um, shoot, that you, you can go first. <laughs> I don't even know if I can handle the pass on this dime right now, so I'm gonna have to come up with something on the tip of the top of my head. Man, who I would have went with, man, R.I.P. Man, I'm going with somebody who's gonna rock the crowd and he's gonna get everybody hyped. He's gonna get us barking. You, you better not, well, motherfucker. Well, I should have gone first. DMX. Jesus, I was gonna say the same goddamn thing. I need a rest one more time. I'm gonna spit at you some shit. I'm gonna get at you. Fuck it. Put your mind. Stop. Blank. Hey, 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 Nick. The Caucasians loved him. Bro, he sold. He sold out like the whole tour of like, like hundred thousand people out there watching the man. They don't, man, everybody loves. The X Man, but he's not alive, so that's a shame. So, who I would have to go with, man? Dang, it's a dime. I'm, I'm gonna catch this one, B. It's, it's, oh, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna go with, um, Bad Boys, man. I, I, I can't stop, won't stop, man. I know. <laughs> No, no, no. Had, had to. Sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go with Diddy, man. Diddy in the boy in the game, man. You talking about I'm gonna have little Kim. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the whole gang come. I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have Mace up there. You know, we we doing all the dances, man. I'm hard on shaking. <laughs> Can't stop. Won't stop. You know. That's everybody that I want to be a part of. That's my whole group, man. I always said I wanted to be part of the bad boys, man. I always said that. I always tell everybody that, man. I feel like it's a real part of the game, man. I see out there doing my thing with the man dancing. Can't stop, won't stop. 
you know, getting down, man. It's a whole group of them that brings amazing music on um, because you definitely got to have my dog, Mary J. Black, come kicking with the with the boots. And the whole game, I mean, you can, we're going to have R&B, we're going to have rap, you know. We can even let, you know, Mariah got a couple songs with them, so she's going to have to do a little guest appearance with them. Fate Evans going to come on there. And, hey, hey, man. I don't see a group that's a, a team that's better prepared. Now, if they had my guy Biggie with them, we might really turn up a party, but we don't have him. But he's in a couple of verses, and you can still let him rock out. Bad boys for life. That's who I'm rocking with. But after DMX, man. Because we already did Snoop. We did 50. And, um, that would have been some good ones. Bruno Mars, that's my guy. 24K. We rocking out. Um, shout out to all the, um, all the fat girls, man. You know, Bruno loves them. Shout out to them. Um, what? Yeah, man. All the big girls, Gosh. man. We love them too, man. So I don't have Bruno, man. <laughs> Bruno, bad boys. That's probably my, my, my two groups that, that I really rock with. Yeah. yeah um, my favorite rapper of all time is DMX. Um, I've been to DM. I went to a DMX concert at Revolution Live in Fort Lauderdale. Um, it was the absolute most awesome, and it was in a small place, so it wasn't a big, big concert hall. It wasn't a, an arena. It was a club, and it was fire. I mean, it took him. He didn't come out to like three thirty in the morning, but he was on. And like, bah. when he, all these people that when they post this shit about when someone dies and they're all so sad and shit, and I really don't get like. Like when Boozer posts about a comic book guy who's 165 years old who passes away and is I'm like, dude, he's 165 years old. Like he's going to die. It's very sad, but he's old as hell. DMX died at 50. When DMX died at 50, I was in fucking tears. And because DMX is for me, the greatest rapper that's ever lived. And he doesn't get the credit for what he's done. He don't. He put out album after album that I don't have to skip a song on. It's just, oh, I could play it. Like, if I was on a road trip, like, Nick could put on R. Kelly for, like, 100 straight songs. I know that. And he probably would have picked R. Kelly if he wasn't in prison, although he picked another guy who's going to go to prison. Um, because clearly you're not watching the news of late because, I mean, you might want to go to that after party with Puffy. Um <laughs> No, I'm just telling him to come you to the Super Bowl party after that's not. Yeah, don't go to his after party because you might end up like, I don't know. Um, but I could play DMX and drive to freaking Alaska and not change this, not change it. Like every album he's got. Because, I mean, I love DMX. And I actually bought tickets for his concert that was supposed to happen about two years before he died. And he canceled it because mm. he was known for canceling concerts had the money back in my account. Like, what the hell's going on? They canceled the concert. They canceled the damn concert. I was so upset. I was so upset. I mean, I would have rather seen the concert. But, yeah, I would be like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? The clean version could be played on TV, but that would have the whole stadium erupting. Erupting. Like, the. I mean, it would be a real party up in there. Now you'd have about probably... 50% of the white people on television crying about it on the internet, like they cry about everything, or 50% of the black folk crying about something like when you see a country music singer or some shit like that. Someone's always crying. Boy, Someone's always crying. You like you can't appeal. You can't you can't please everybody. Like, but but it depends. Some, like, I guess it would depend on where you're having the, the Super Bowl at. Like, well, not, it's, I, it's a Super Bowl you can play it anywhere and have. No, 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 nice. no. I get that. I get that. I get that. You know what I'm saying, but. The best, you know, the best performances are usually like if we're doing it in Cali, we're gonna have Snoop Dogg do it. If we're doing it in Atlanta, well, if you do it in if you do it in New York and in, in MetLife, I mean, that would have been unbelievable. I mean, heck, you do it in Vegas, I think it's just as good. Yeah, 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 Vegas. I, I, you know, anybody there? Donald, you you love Usher. Have you been to see Usher in a uh, residency in Vegas? You should go. I don't yeah. know if he's still there or not. He Unfortunately, he no, but I heard it was amazing. But actually, he just announced. Yeah. That he's taking that tour around oh, really? in Miami. So okay. I'm going to try to see um, 
a conservative about nine times. But I would tell you, right? I would tell you if I can't have DMX, I don't need a whole bunch of groups. I don't need this person, this person. Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang. I saw Wu Tang Clan perform as well at the James L. Knight Center. I was in row three. I could not hear for two days after that. Yeah, give me speakers were twenty feet high. Method Man come comes out. I mean, now you might need Mary J. Blige for the one song, but oh my God, I would love this Wu Tang and that would be some shit. If you could bring back Old Dirty Bastard from the Dead as well. Dang. Oh my God, I don't know. We can't do nothing. Our concerts. They're all dead. Well, I mean, I, I would I would take Wu Tang Clan because I mean, otherwise I go to MC Hammer because I don't know if you ever seen MC Hammer back in the day, but. MC Hammer in 1991, I saw him in concert, the Miami Arena. He had like 75 people on stage with him. That was the greatest actual show I've ever seen. Like what they did, the performing, unbelievable. I know you were just. You know. Oh, by the way, Donald, I like the way you like kiss me when we're playing the kissing. <laughs> you surprised me. All the time. I didn't think you would know that. Man. I know who high five is. Yeah. That was when I was in school, bro. Man. Well, I'm I didn't bad know boys, man. We're going 112. We're going black rock. We're going to lock. We're going no. low. No, we no, going I didn't, I didn't know forever, man. We're going, come on, man. I didn't know if you were going to say uh, Backstreet Boys because you want it that way. I don't, I don't know where you were going to go with this. <laughs> don't I don't know where you were going to go with this, but I'm, I, I, went, I went to school in Little Haiti, bro. Come on. I appreciate the IED. Shout I was out to school at Archbishop Curly in Little Haiti, bro. <laughs> oh, I've been listening. I've been listening to hip hop since NWA. I, I, I was about that. ten years old. We're gonna cut out of uh, the bus. Uh, <laughs> years for the show. I am biased. Naysay- oh, remember that little Nay? Let the naysayers know. You know that was such a bunch of bull crap. That's not what it means. Stop my pain. You can't tell somebody what it means, Rudy. Exactly. Exactly. But why is the player line of who was it? It was Penix, right? No, it was um the Alabama quarterback. It was okay, no row. Yeah, why is he lying? Just say what it means, bro. We all know. Like, come on now. But go ahead. Sorry, man. Anyway, uh, as we segue off this topic, which was very colorful and exciting and entertaining. You guys kind of threw me for a loop there. Nick, you're gonna make me listen to DMX in the gym tomorrow. You're gonna make me listen to hey. DMX. 